Okay, here we go. Um, Nick. Yeah? Did you know that phone camera's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germ Germany all this time, but all by herself. And she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect and the murder child. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mr. Maya. Huh? Eh? What do you mean? My mother's coming today to show her support. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Polly. Hey, pals. Yes, Mr. Nick. Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel me a today, too? Eh, I was all hoping to send the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I'll feel confident, confident enough with a tap. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can so witness in front of the person you love. Pearly, this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for my stick, my sake. See you later then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. Nick, this way, Pulse won't be able to see today's child. What do you mean? What's going on? Well, we don't want to see. We don't want Pulse to know what Morgan's plan was. Cause no answer is for the child from my affair. The defense is ready, Honor. Let's start already, Mr. Phoenix, right? I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. Memories of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolishly foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh huh, that's nice, Miss Von Hmm, glad, glad to see in such spirit, good spirits today, Miss Fee. Uh, it's true what they say, women really are scared when they fight. Mm. Oh then, a very interesting video was presented in yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channel chamber, correct? Yes. In this case, proof of that. This key that only key to the channel chamber was not where it should have been. Yeah, Anna. I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. Prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? You say then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what's the meaning of this? I'm saying, well, all I'm saying is that my day, after killing the victim, exited the room. 
and I believe that's when she dropped the ski. Can you substitute? Can you substitute your clue? So now I'm here for the prosecutor would like to call it the defendant son walking free to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan, poor me, seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Faye, and I'm a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? Ugh. I don't think anyone really cares. And then after the murder took place, you can't watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that's correct. I performed the Spirit 7 technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit 7 technique. A technique to remove a spirit from my body and send it back to the other world. That is. Yes, that is. Ooh. You, be quiet. No, witness. Something that happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. Oh, what in the world could it... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the half of the matter. My fate. We're in a possessed state, and let's escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order. Miss Faye, please testify to the Scott what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just stopped the hunt on this child. My escape. After we heard the shots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Ryan the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from my stick in my hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she fostered me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and defended for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I, I do not wish to cause more trouble for Mr. Kamaya. However, I must grant false teeth when they arise. That's right, so you simply create an falsity, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why is he making that? Why is he making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Was well, right, your course at examination, please. My aunt is a face man, sly person. It's gonna be hard for us to find a crack in our testimony. Just now, you said those two. Who are the two people you were referring to? As for referring to that foreign lady and yourself, Gisse. Oh, Lord is not foreign, really, despite all she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. Simply cannot understand her choice of singers. Not to mention she looked awful. I can always see people in the hotline getting a full right. In any case, I've already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. A. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> mm, what did you do after that, Mr. A? Oh, thanks, Morgan. <sighs> Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us would have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that was a very good point. At the time, I, myself, was a little confused. Top of it, there was another... Another what, madam? 
Oh, it's nothing, no need to concern yourself. I will hear the end of that sentence. There was another reason we wanted both of us, so if that one wasn't there. You must testify, why did you chase us out of their room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and the Cameron woman would may be in danger as so I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. My people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. I say sick or snapping. That's my aunt for you. You satisfy no, Miss Faye? Miss Faye, please continue. Do not investigate some you stated that you struck the defendant on the head and the strike caused my to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But uh, why would you lie about something like that? It's very painful for me to say this sorry effort. This witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was coughing for my. So you were coughing for the defendant? Well, yes, it was only later that I was informed of what I didn't care. That the renegade, Mr. Kmaya, done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? P what, pray tell, did you see? Ugh. This witness didn't come, didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this expected thing was, it's always later. Yes, very well. Uh, why does it only feel like it's a walk in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, please continue with what happened. Was it really that easy for her to escape from me? In the same term, it's such a thing, however, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Miss Phoenix? What well, about this picture? Remember, at the time, the defendant was not physically my affair. <laughs> Hmm, go and order such a mysterious thing, trust me, I know first hand. Basically, Mr. Kamaya's body was still of that, of the, that of the nurse he had But if she had run away, run away, wouldn't you have given chase for me? Well, yes, I would have, however. Okay, you fainted. I became dizzy and clapped onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I am not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went off somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness, elaborate us on that point. Is that because you were unconscious? Why? Yes. Great. Well, now what? So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea what the defendant meant. I would, I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you be sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Oh no, you mentioned it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? Means they have some nerve for witness up her sleeve. That's what. The site must find commerce ready to move on to the next witness. That's enough. From what I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what I say, we can establish that my fate did leave the t chamber. I hope this doesn't go and come back and burst in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? 
Yes, yes. What? Be quiet, you. Northern, what did the escape he had done was also was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She, she went to speak with someone. Who was it? Prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Meeny, I think you can see where this is heading. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is like Eeny Meeny. I like research and like parapsychology stuff at the um university. What was this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like I guess most people call it a cult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. And I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Ah oh, then, Miss E. Money. After the murder took place, she spoke with the defendant, my affair. Is this correct? Um, well, hmm, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's see your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things, good Your Honor, have some spine, for my sake. <laughs> Uh, like when the chairman started, I was like sleeping in the silence. Like a little later, someone came into the room like really suddenly. I was like, oh my god, it's totally my sister. I like hadn't seen her in like so long. I was so happy like in a subway. My sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. Why is this testimony? No, I hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person I enter was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, my affair? Really, no, your honor. My affair was down in the middle of channeling at that time. You're saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness, her sister? Yes, me, me, money. She was the daughter, daughter Gray, nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Well, oh, well, this is... Witness. Like, yeah. In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'll love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Money, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. There was no accident. I was drugged with those pills, with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Any she took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. Yeah. Are you satisfied, Jonah? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that spell will go so fast to use, to use a medium to get the front. It's a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. What do you think, Master I? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accountable. This. Testimony just now was all made up. Was there just one huge lie? 
Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well spawned knives can be under we can do, Phoenix. Let's find that one less thread and unwind the tapestry of flies. Your Honor, there's a room for doubt, so the defence will cause it some in this witness. We believe that our cross has someone and some will feel the true, true, real truth behind this murder. Yeah, again, the finish fools, but it's like more fullest, fullest travel. I wonder if you'll make this one, this one more entertaining than the last. Was that because of your, um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I like it. I, like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch I served that day. I had this, like, primo on this, and I was gonna be going to totally be a seedy day. Yeah, yes, indeed. Hmm, I see. And on the one who must support it, it's a pun phoenix. Oh my god. Anyway, so you were taking a nap? Did something happen while you were sleeping? Did... Do you know what... No... Did you... Do you know at the time? Do you know the time? Um, like... Maybe a little before 11am, something like that, I think. 11 a.m. Yeah, like my stomach is totally ready for like food. Ah, uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time was it when the someone came into your room? Oh, so like that's what you meant. Like you said, I'll be more like clear about it. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. It like it's real. That's it, why you stopped my sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Witness, I put this person who entered the side room. Are you absolutely sure? I guess. You guess. Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First of all, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. Hmm, but maybe, but more than that. To manage to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. I know, my sister. How did you feel when you saw Miss Meanie Miney? You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But weren't most people were at, you were surprised at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but like, maybe if I was like someone who didn't know about like the occult, but I like know all about the crane channeling technique. The point is, the witness immediately recognized that I was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. Hmm, should I drop this line of questioning? No. So you really didn't think it? Anything strange of the whole encounter. No, like there wasn't any reason for me to think anything was strange. But, ow! Don't keep badging her. You know the face of Jackson. You can try using it once in a while. You must write the question of what the witness belt was. Yes, cause he should have seen the blood. Yes, it is very important, although I haven't 
quite figure out what it is yet, but I've got a bluff on my maker, it seems like I know what I'm talking about. Alright, Mr. Wright, Mr. Meany, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. I wasn't like scared at all until like her costume looked like totally like normal. I probably messed up that sentence, but. Where's it? There. Should have seen the blood. That was a very well spun line, Miss Eeny. What are you blabbling, babbling about this, about this time, Mr. Phoenix, right? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Still in my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Manny? May I remind you of what you said? You said there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Yeah, like your aunt. But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Please take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister he met. I would think that you, even you would have been surprised if someone appeared before you like this. A blood spray. Miss Meany, why did you not include the blood that you saw in your testimony? If you were really test, if you, if you were really testified and not lying, that would be noted right off the bat. Um, order, order, Miss Money, what's the meaning of this? Miss Money, I'm thinking. Don't interrupt me. I'm not. And why are you stammering about Gianna? Um, uh, well, I heard. Uh, that witness, her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand though. First of all, can you stop witness? Like, I'm sorry, I like didn't mean to snap. Now, I hurry up with the testimony, if you please. Uh, the just alerts a little shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. Well, that's where we're going to end it off here. So, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.